Hello everyone. In this video, we'll solve a nice math question. This question is c over 4 times c over 4 is equal to 4 over c times 4 over c. We'll find out what is the value of c in this math question. So let's start. Our question, it will be c over 4 times c over 4 is equal to 4 over c times 4 over c. This is our question. Now, at this moment, you can see easily this c times this c it will be c squared and this 4 times this 4 it will be 4 to the power 2 is equal to this 4 times this 4 it will be 4 squared and this c times this c it will be c squared i solve this question step by step now here if i multiply this value and this value and this value this value we'll find out here is c to the power 2 times c to the power 2 is equal to 4 to the power 2 times 4 to the power 2. Now, according to exponential law, we know that it is basically same. So, I add this exponent. So, it will be c to the power 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 to the power 2 plus 2. Now, here, c to the power 2 plus 2 it will be 4 and here, 4 to the power 4. So, according to exponential law, you can see that this exponent is same. So, here is base is equal. So, is equal to 4. C is equal to 4. This is our final answer. But we'll find out here is 1 root. But our need 4 root because of that. Here is exponent is 4. C to the power 4 is equal to 4 to the power 4. Here is exponent is 4. So, we need 4 root. But we'll find out here is 1 root. So, what is the value of other 3 root? We'll find out other 3 root. Okay. Now, at this moment, you can see easily this expression it will be c to the power 4 minus 4 to the power 4 is equal to 0. I just move on this 4 to the power 4 in this side it will be negative 4 to the power 4. Now here c to the power 4 you can see easily c to the power 2 and whole to the power 2 is minus and here is 4 to the power 2 and whole to the power 2 is equal to 0. Because of that 2 times 2 it will be 4 and here 2 times 2 is also 4. Now here you can see easily it will be a square minus b square. We know that a square minus b square it will be a plus b a minus b. If I follow this identity I can see easily this expression it will be c to the power 2 plus 4 to the power 2 times and it is also c to the power 2 minus 4 to the power 2 is equal to 0. We are find out here is two case. Uh, our first case is c to the power 2 plus 4 to the power 2 and other case c to the power 2 minus 4 square is equal to 0. Now if I explain it, I can see it will be c to the power 2 plus 16 and it is also c to the power 2 minus 16 is equal to 0. Yes. Now, at this moment, I can see here is this case is equal to 0, this case is equal to 0. So, it will be c to the power 2 plus 16 is equal to 0 and others will c to the power 2 minus 16 is equal to 0. Now, you can see easily here c to the power 2 is equal to minus 16. Because of that, if I move on this positive 16 in this side, it will be negative 16. Or if I subtract both sides 16, we'll find out here is c squared is equal to negative 16. Now, at this moment, if I use both sides square root, I can see easily here is c square is equal to square root minus 16. <coughs> Now, at this moment, square root minus 16 is equal to what? So, if I complex rules, if I follow complex rules, I can see the, sorry, here is c is equal to square root minus 16. Uh, it is plus minus, and you can see the, here is c is equal to plus minus square root 16 times square root negative 1. Now, c is equal to plus minus 4i. Because of that, we know that square root minus 1, it will be i. Now here, c square minus 16 is equal to 0. So you can see that c square is equal to 16. Then if I use both sides square root, I can see that c is equal to plus minus 4. This is our other answer. c is equal to plus minus 4. So we will find out here is c is equal to positive 4, negative 4, and positive 4i and negative 4i. This is our 4 root in this nice mass Olympiad question. Let's check out our question. It will be c over 4 times c over 4 
is equal to 4 over c times 4 over c this is our question now at this moment if i put this value i mean when c is equal to 4 this time you can say this c is equal to 4 so it will be 4 over 4 times 4 over 4 is equal to 4 over 4 times 4 over 4 so if i cancel out this 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 we will find out 1 is equal to 1 so left hand side and right hand side is equal so you can see easily uh, c is equal to 4 this is our right answer but at this point if you take negative 4 this time you can see easily this c it will be negative 4 it's okay and here is 4 times negative 4 over 4 is equal to negative 4 over minus negative 4 and 4 over minus 4 at this moment you can see easily it, it is also 1 is equal to 1 because of that minus minus it will be plus minus minus it will be plus so this this cancel we are find out here is 1 is equal to 1 now at this moment if you think x is equal to sorry c is equal to minus 4i or positive 4i you also find this uh, left hand side and right hand side is equal so i take here is c is equal to 4i okay so i take c is equal to 4i so i consider this c is equal to 4i over 4 times 4i over 4 is equal to 4 over 4i times 4 over 4i now at this moment you consider this 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 cancel this 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 is cancel we'll find out here is i square and it is also 1 over i square so we know that i squared will be negative 1 and 1 over i squared will be 1 over negative 1 1 over negative 1 it is also negative 1 so you can see his left hand side and right hand side is equal so c is equal to positive 4i this is also right answer but at this point if you think x uh, c is equal to negative 4i you also find out here is 1 is equal to 1 so <coughs> i can see easily here is 4 root every root is our right answer Thank you all. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe my channel for other interesting video. Goodbye. Take care.